Hey, good Thursday morning, friends. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Thursday, November the 30th. Hope you're doing well on this last day of November. Believe it or not, yes, it is. And also the end of the liturgical year, which is Saturday. A new liturgical year begins Sunday with the Advent season as the church celebrates it. And it is a time for us to prepare for the coming of the Lord on Christmas Day, his birth, his birth and new birth and rebirth into our hearts, which should not only be on Christmas, but every day. And that's something that we will talk a little bit about as we talk about the scriptures today. So I'm going to ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear from St. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 22. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee mending their nets. He called them and immediately left their boat and their father and followed him. So what we have here in the Gospel of St. Matthew is a period of time that has gone by where these people have gotten to know Jesus. They have gotten to know him through his acts, through a relationship that they have established with him. And this is why Jesus says it the way he does. Come after me and then I will have you do some things for me. Come after me first. But before that even is an established relationship with Jesus so that when they follow him, when they start doing what they're doing, they are doing it for him, not for the pastor at the church, not for themselves, not to look good in front of the community, but for him. This is a very important thing in all of either organized religion or outside of that is the motivation that we have to do things that are positive for the community, positive for compassionate acts, etc., for those in need. It must be done with the right attitude. And that attitude is we are doing it for Jesus, not for anyone else, not for the person receiving. Again, not for the pastor, not for your parents, not even for you. You're doing it for Jesus. Many years ago, many years ago, I was considering becoming a Eucharistic minister at the Catholic Church where I was a member. And the pastor at the time, a man who I deeply respected, said, oh, great, yep, you go to this class, you finish the class, you come back, we put you in and uh, we have a little ceremony at the Mass on Sunday, and then you're ready to go. And I said, okay, great. And then I went off and thought about it. And I really, sometimes, you know, your mind is going places. You just don't know exactly where it's taking you. Well, my mind was taking me to a place where I didn't feel I was ready for this. I didn't feel like my relationship with Jesus was kind of deep enough, was kind of solid enough. I needed to talk to him. I needed to him to see my weaknesses, plenty of them, and see where I was going with all this stuff. And then I could do this. So I took actually a month. And I told him that, and he was certainly positive in his reaction to me, and then I launched into this. Now, believe me, I've made many mistakes, and I haven't followed the recipe I have told you today, come follow me and then do things for me and do them in my name. I've failed many times myself. But this, my friends, like many things in our faith, is a day-to-day action a day-to-day action where we can establish this relationship each day with just easy conversations, easy meditation and prayer time to make the solid relationship with Jesus so that when we do what we do, we do it with the right intent. Now, as we launch into this next liturgical season, let's try to focus on that. Let's focus on that relationship with Jesus that will all be based on compassion and commitment. Yep, my two favorite words, as you know. And then we will have a better opportunity to reach out to those in need to really make the positive impacts 
that we all can do. So my friends, that's my message for you on this Thursday morning. As always, I hope it was helpful. I welcome your comments and your thoughts. I welcome you always here and I appreciate you being here. We're gonna take a moment or two of silent reflection and then we'll end with a prayer. Most loving God, we thank you for the ability to have a relationship with you. We know you are there when we reach out. Give us the wisdom to reach out more often, more consistently, so that that relationship with you is solid. And then that solid foundation is used to do things in your name, to make sure that our intent is pure of heart, filled with compassion and commitment to serve those in need before us. My friends, I wish you all a wonderful Thursday, and I will be out for a few days now again, and I will see you back here on the start of Advent for this liturgical year on Sunday. Take care, everyone. Have a good few days.